Hey guys, and welcome to the channel. I'm Zemo, the Grim Daddy himself, and today this little piggy is about to go to the market with this pig build. Now, we've saved the best for last being nerfed. I've heard a lot of people saying that pig has received a nerf, and I disagree. I don't think save the best for last is a necessary perk on pig. I think it is one of those perks that a lot of people think they need, but don't necessarily need. And today I hope to prove that with this build. So, what we are using is razor wires. Jigsaw box skill checks are smaller, and if you miss them, you get injured. Obviously, if you're injured, you don't get injured, but if you're full health, you get injured. Then we have utility blades. My reverse bear traps inflict hemorrhage until they're removed, which is useful for what we are intending to do. And then we have fanatophobia. For each injured, dying, or hook survivor, they receive a stacking 2% penalty to repair, sabotage, or total cleansing. And if all four of them are injured, there is an additional 12% penalty. Basically, 20% if everything's going well, which means they can't repair those gens quite as quick. Then we have Nurse's Calling. Anyone within 28 meters of me who is healing will have their aura revealed, and I get to sneak up on them and stab them right in the bum. I love this perk. Then we have Knockout. Anyone hit with, well, put into the dying state with a basic attack by me, does not reveal their aura to anyone unless they're within 16 meter range and survivors that are put into the dying state by my basic attacks crawl 50% slower for 15 seconds and their recovery speed is reduced by 25%. They're also inflicted with blindness while this is going on. And last but not least, Franklin's Demise. Anyone I hit with a basic attack will drop their item and if they don't pick it up within 90 seconds, it'll lose all their charges and be useless. And on top of that, I can see items within a 32 meter range that are on the ground with a white aura, and they go red until they're gone for good. So, the basic premise of this build is I find people. I stab people. I daily stab all the people before I've even got a first down. Um, when I down people, and if I think I have the chance to down a second person, I can then leave them slugged, which then allows me to basically take two people out of the running. The other survivors, unless they saw where the person got slugged, have no clue where they are, and I get to go around and laugh maniacally. All the while, their items are on the ground and degrading slowly and painfully. The whole point of this build is just to be mean and do things that people don't like. And you can do it while being stealthy. It's, it's actually hilarious. Either way, guys, it's a fun build. You'll see I don't get as much value out of knockout as you know, I would like, but in theory, it should give some pretty insane value, and I do use it on occasion. Either way, like, comment, subscribe, let's get on with the matches. Right. Smart vets say they should be over this side somewhere. This one in the ditch. Yep. Oh, go around this way. Got an ambush off on him. And a pallet. Oh, fuck off, game. <sighs> that wasn't even a particularly long chase, but then... That happened. on that one. Off. 
No, sprint first, motherfucker. Nah, it was worth a try for an ambush plate, but. Do I get him here? Now he drops the pallet. Jokes on him, I've got fucking thing with Bob. Oh. Let's see, patch trap. Let's just double check no one's around here. Nice try, Bill. Let's see what way did Bill go. Put him down. That's on him. Get Bill back up. And then we'll carry him over here. Nah, you ain't getting there. Trap up. And then we'll get you up here. But, but this bell really wants to die. Gonna drop that instantly. Go that way, Bill. That the, the direction I want you to go. Well, in case they're healing under the hook. Fucking pallet after pallet after pallet after pallet after pallet. Break this one. Let's 
uh... it was okay. Definitely gonna die. Do you get to any pallets? Oh, there is one pallet. Break this, because again, there's fuck all over in this direction. Apart for that. This is like a fucking way to get away from me anymore. This guy's alive or dead, to be honest, at this point. Come on, Peggy. You can do it. I think that's enough, but at least we got some distance. How in the name of God did that blind me? It's fucking absolute sparks. Break that. Around this way. You have nowhere to go, Renato. And that was a waste of your, uh, of your duda. And you got absolutely no distance. Oh, fuck. He's here, I just don't know where. He's like fucking a ninja. Fucking boil over. Don't get me wrong, I don't mind boiling over, but I fucking hate it at the same time. Oh, that was a bad place to be standing. Let's see where he goes. Ah! 
Let's use that to try and get some distance on me. Yeah, I'm here, you. Now, is he going to get hatch because it's spawning simply right in front of him? No. No, he is not. Yep. Time to murder. Piggy, 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 piggy. We also get to punch the hatch in the tits. That went well. I enjoyed that. There we go. Right. I'm gonna guess that one. We'll get to the main building. Then we'll go sneaky mode. Too safe a pallet, I need to break it. Ooh, that was Did I hear somebody there. That was a very poor flashlight attempt. Thank you. That's a relatively quick down, but still. Yeah. Fucking son of a bitch. I don't think you have anything anymore. There we go. I'll put you down. Put a party hat. And then get you up. Right. So I'm guessing this one has someone on it. Yep. Might be a break. No. What the fuck? distance they've covered. There's shitloads of pallets over here. You're definitely jumping that. Live. Do I get to anything? No. Nope. See if this helps us out. 
Oh, she's already got her party hat off, fuck's sake. You've anywhere. Oh, I got you. Just. Because I heard them running, I need to go back here quick. Let them heal. Ah! <laughs> yep, give it up. Perfect. Two people over there, which I can go after in a second. I don't know where his party hat is. Oh no, I didn't put a furry hat on him, did I? I did not put a party hat on him at all. The one is going this way. good thing is, because of the way my build works, I can leave him. The other person is not going to find him. Took his knockout. <laughs> Means I can get him, him, her, up. So she's just got her party hat off. We'll see what happens first. They get them up. Or if they find that. Now, in theory, both of them are here. <laughs> Let's just keep going. So let's see if we can cut her off. 
Perfect. Put a trap on for points. And then hook for fun. Yeah. <laughs> 